I did not get tires to go with my 2020 Corvette rims. So Raid reached out to me and they're sponsoring this video. So you're gonna wanna download this game right here. It's called Raid Shadow Legends. The graphics in this thing are absolutely amazing. This is one of the best RPG games on the market. And the great thing about this is it's available on desktop and mobile. So what I like most about this video is the way it starts out with this epic dragon right here. New players will find all of the rewards in the inbox in the game and then the characters are called champions. This is me right here. I use Gallic and the gameplay you can see is amazing. You can battle live players in the PvP game and then you can also do campaign fights and take over the map. Check out these awesome graphics and then you get to the boss. This is the one you want to get to. You earn more silver, more rewards to keep the game going longer and as you get stronger. You have to see more for yourself in this game. It's absolutely awesome. And the cool thing about it is you can join my clan. All you have to do is search Chevy Dude just like it is here on YouTube. Go to the video description, click the special links, and just in Chevy Dude fashion, if you're a new player, you're gonna get 200,000 silver and one new free champion tree fell. Go do it now as these awards are only gonna be available for 30 days. Use the link in the description below. Support this sponsor as they are supporting this channel to bring you more C8 content down the road. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Behind me, the tent with the C8 logo. Yes, I am at Spring Mountain Racetrack and Resort here in front of Nevada, just about an hour outside of Las Vegas. And we are gonna have some fun right behind me right there look at all those there are some c8 boys and girls i am excited because we are going to have a lot of fun uh, i'm doing the one and a half day training with chevrolet this is something that we have to do as a dealership to stay compliant as you know my dealership is a signature corvette dealer which is a top line corvette dealer that you can have we have to spend the most money on it we had the mobile tour at our dealership and now uh, unfortunately part of the training is they have to send me out here to do all sorts of goofy stuff i'm not sure how many videos i'm going to do here my goal is to have three video series on this training i'm hearing that they may not let us record so we're going to find out what i can do what i can't do and uh, agree to those terms but I do have this. This is the agenda so far that Chevrolet has given us. So you can see day one, they're gonna have some track time. We're gonna have some powertrain information, then close. And then tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 4.30, we have autocross, we have skid pad, we have track drive. We have all sorts of cool things that we'll be doing here at the track. So uh, don't forget to uh, smash that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the channel. And let's go on and find out what we're doing here. All right, so we're gonna go out for the first drive here. And I'm really excited to do this because this is the first time that I have driven a C8. And uh, we do have capability of doing the PDR. Unfortunately, can't record on the inside of the car, but we do have the PDR, so you'll come right along with me. But before I go out, for some reason, they want to breathalyze me. I've never ever done a breathalyzer a day in my life. Thank goodness, knock on wood. Ow, that hurt. Pass or fail? Wait for it. All right, pass. Whew. Man, it's good. All right, so uh, first drive in the car. Um, they have told us no GoPros um, in the car, so I did bring a couple GoPros, but couldn't hook them up. I do have the PDR, so we'll show some of that stuff. I've been here before. I love this car. Red car with Morello 3LT interior, Alt Alcantara. This has got the two seats gt2 seats so let's go with the first ride and you'll come with me on the pdr all right gentlemen we need to level to allow the car to turn you should be looking around the same next ride put the base of the curb and then we'll unwind gently about two-thirds of the way to the left and we want a straight path past the white pink cone. So we have a straight line breaking so zone going uphill to the left. Back from him. So and I can get a little bit better all feeling. The top of the hill for turn three. And we want a straight line past the white pink reference zone on the right. 
we're going to slow down going uphill, looking now to the right. Now everyone try to dial in so the this corner, is the bull right here. We want to get a proper drive down to the ball when you start to go faster. That done, go to the right and fall behind Michael again. Waiting on that third spot. Okay, so come on up there. Let me accelerate a little bit, Michael. And then fall back in line there, Rick. Thank you, Two. As we go through turn two, we want to be looking up to uh, the turning point for turn three. We want that straight shot through this white pink tone up to the left side of the track. And that's the way we're straight when we're, uh, when we're braking, okay? Look to the right. Let's tighten this line up here. Looking good. So I'm sitting here and I'm trying to race, and it's hard to not have this race mindset following him because my speed is not accurate with my ability here. So we'll see here. I'll come around. So I drew back. All right, it'll be back here. And looking up to the top of the hill there. So see, now that I've stayed back a little bit, I'm still not pushing the throttle real hard. But for these first few laps, it's going to feel for See, I'm catching really up to him now. Generating a ton of speed from corner to corner. We're just kind of feeling what it would be like if we were driving these cars, you know, and whether it's touring and everyday driving or you know, sport driving a little bit more spirited. Okay, just let it come out more to the middle here and then sweep the car down to the JPEG. They'll open up your exit. Good, yeah, that was perfect. Oop, a little hard. All right, folks. That's we're good. going to be reducing our speed just a little bit. And we'll be exiting the racetrack this time uh, before heading back out to the racetrack again. Okay, we're going to just make some small adjustments. We'll get our left turn signals on. Being a bit of patient. That was better, Michael. Good job. Go ahead and accelerate out to the left, Mike. All right, Rick. My apologies, Rick. Car is reversed there. We're going up to fourth gear, Rick. And up to fourth for Mike. And up to fifth gear, down front straight. Now, as we slow down from into turn one, down shift the left paddle to fourth gear. Look up to the right. Try to ride the brakes to help put some weight off the front end of the car. Good. We'll accelerate out. We'll be in fourth gear through turn two, so no need to shift here. When you come out of turn two, we'll accelerate, and we'll head up to the fifth gear. The middle of the hill, and up to the corner there. It's very smooth. We're going to break the outship to fourth. Look to the right, try to ride the brakes as the car, as the car starts to go downhill. And we'll accelerate down at the bowl. Eyes up. Now, one little trick with the bowl is that you can look through the driver's side window. So turn your head, take a quick peek to see where that apex is at. We'll accelerate out. Should still be a four here. Just very light brake pressure here, balance of the car gently left to right. And then, as we accelerate over here to the left, we should be looking around to the right, or looking across the corner here. A little bit early there, Rick. So try to delay that additional steering. That'll straighten your exit out. Let's do a rotation. Rick, go behind Michael and the Bruce car. Come on up, Michael, up to 50 here. Okay, now as we slow down, Michael, downshift to fourth. Make sure we scan across the corner to the right. Bring it all the way to the apex curve. Eyes up for the exit. Look shallow right to the left. Nice steady speed here. Should still be in fourth gear. Eyes, eyes up for turn three. Up shift to fifth. Back on those brakes firm. Down shift to fourth. Start looking to the right. Okay? Bring that car all the way down to the apex curve before I'm at. Beautiful. Nice job, Michael. Get much better with that. Look in the left. Okay, so here, try to find this apex down here at the bottom. Angle the car down to where I'm at, and that'll open up that exit. There you go. All right. Just nice and easy on the brakes. Now, Mike, one thing that's going to help you is follow me over here. Okay, eyes up, unwinding out to the left, but looking up to the right. Good, accelerating, up shift to fifth gear. Good, as we slow down, we up shift to fourth, walk around the corner of the right. You'll notice as you use the paddle shifters, compared to the old C7, 
the shifts are executed much quicker and much smoother. And the delay from when you pull the paddle to when the car makes the shift is minimal. Okay, lightly on the brake here. Okay, try to get a little further over here to the left uh, ring. That'll open up this entry. Much better exit. Look around the corner. Try to stay further over to the right after the safe exit. So give up a little bit of speed to place the car better for the next one. That's much better. This will theoretically allow you to accelerate out of this corner even stronger. That's a brake from. I need a little bit more time behind the wheel of this car before I give judgment, but wow, that's all I'm gonna say. So we broke up into two groups to go around the track. Uh, we drove approximately, I, I don't even need to know approximately, I know exactly what we drove, because uh, I reset the trip. Uh, we drove 12.2 miles, average speed was 37.3 miles, and uh, you guys saw me get on it, average 10.2 miles per gallon. 10.2 miles per gallon, that's fun. So to give you a little bit of insight what's going on, so this is a half day today, and uh, really I think we're almost done. I think we're gonna do a classroom session, which I'm not gonna record any of that, but those guys are getting ready to take the slalom course, and if you see me put that in there, that's what I need to do. All right guys, so you see that guy right there, that's Mr. Ron Fellows. And he was just telling me that um, a pretty affluent executive has never owned a Corvette, but he has been fortunate enough to buy some Corvette race cars from the race teams. And uh, he's interested in buying a C8. He's never wanted to buy a street legal race car or a street legal Corvette. And uh, it tells you a lot about this eighth generation Corvette on how well it's done. All right guys, so there, is all done. Uh, today we had an amazing day. We did the on-track experience that you saw earlier, and then we did uh, a lot of in-class learning for the powertrain. Tomorrow is a full day, eight hours of on track and in class and like every hour you're back on the track so we're always within an hour of driving so tomorrow's going to be an awesome day and i'll have it to you you can see that they're cleaning the cars up back here uh before tomorrow's class they've already got some of them put away they're using zl1 1le's back here to uh do the lead car um absolutely awesome so i want to tell you this if you are a salesman or an employee at a dealership, you need to make sure you pressure your dealership to have this training done. It's a very expensive to do, but it is absolutely 100% worth it. The information that I'm getting here that I can take back to the dealership is gonna be tenfold. There are only a few people in the country that are really committed to selling Corvettes. There are only a few people in the world that are really committed to learning the brand and only a few people in the country that are sitting here and doing the extra work to do it. Uh, there was a dealership here that had a very, very small allocation, like two or three. They were here learning. This is an expensive class, but they are taking it on themselves to make sure that they have a great customer experience for the people walking in the door. So make sure you pressure your dealership so that way you can provide an amazing customer experience for the brand, for the car, and for your dealership along with General Motors. As always guys, I had a blast today. I hope it was something that you enjoyed. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on so you don't miss an upload. Leave a thumbs up. If you wanna buy a car from me, make sure you ask for me at the dealership or contact me at chevydude.com. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a great day and drive safely.